one two one two hello everyone it's a cassette sound only part two today i'm me pavel grachov hello we're waiting people okay we're starting um okay uh first track uh today it will be uh zora uh, Zora, a uh, little bit history. <laughs> uh, Zora born in 1915 uh, near Constantine and raised on a parental diet of traditional Arabic music. Zora quickly took up uh, singing and playing the guitar and uh, keep doing so after she and her reception during uh, her first years. Uh, in France, it took uh, an encounter with a multi-talented instrumentalist, composer, <laughs> arranger, and conductor uh, Johanne. Uh, Johanne, to take him uh, into the world uh, of recorded music, uh, Johanne experience in writing and uh, interpreting music uh, for ballets, television, orchestra and the vast array of uh, French and international uh, musicians made sure the collaboration sunk uh, a Barbe dialect uh, was uh, destined for success. The title track uh, Badala Zamana gets uh, picked up uh, by various radio stations, Mons uh, most uh, notably in Arabic uh, speaking countries in France, uh, the song uh, did uh, not go annoyed um, and noticed uh, either, but until today, although uh, championed by Habibi Funk among a few others, uh, it remains relatively uh, enough. Okay, uh, we're starting and our first track, uh, Zora, Zora, Badala Zamana. Let's go.
Okay, next track along in a uh, Chinese female singer along in uh, sorry, a uh, Chinese female singer uh, Lan In has released uh, loads uh, of albums in Malaysia and Singapore uh, and uh, this uh, catchy disc track uh, is taken from uh, her long play album Taboo Ming Bai Okay, Taboo Ming Bai from Lan In, let's go! Georgian singer Valery Alamsadze. Uh, this uh, track from a long play album, a uh, site is sung in Georgian and a uh, B site in Russian. Okay, uh, Valery Sadze, Jadasnuri uh, Ksebi.
Okay, okay. I'm sorry. L2. L2 is a Swiss electropop uh, trio of uh, Gucci Gachi on guitar vocals, uh, Stena Orns on bass guitar, and Martin Kraft uh, vocals and drum machines. Uh, formed uh, circa 1981 in a row uh, by Gucci and Stena, who played together in punk new wave band uh, Fresh Color, aka uh, Frische Farbe, uh, featuring a uh, pre yellow DT Mayer. Uh, Gucci minimal electronic uh, composition did not fit the uh, concept of Fresh Color. Uh, so they formed a new project with their live mixer, Martin Kraft on vocals. Uh, the group uh, was uh, cute, uh, successful with many con uh, concerts, uh, mainly in southern Germany and various uh, TV operations in Germany and abroad. Between uh, April September 1982, they recorded and mix it uh, the debut album New uh, für uh, Mach uh, oh, Germany <laughs> um, in 15 days at uh, Powerplay Studios uh, in Zurich. Uh, the long play was released later than year uh, on Gold Records. Uh, Influence at uh, the time where, of course, the NDW uh, movement and also from Gucci time as a musician and guitarist since 1965 the step up uh, for recording was a MOOC prodigy Cork uh, Rhythm 55 Key R55 Siemens drums Casio Tone uh, 202 Guter and Bass uh, we uh, added uh, a bonus track, Video King, uh, that was uh, originally uh, released uh, as a follow-up single in 1984 before the uh, group uh, disbanded. Okay, uh, and our next track, El Du. Let's go.
Spiegel sein. Two, one. Okay, uh, next track. It's a cool Latvian disc track taken from uh, the modern uh, sound single with uh, two tracks of the great composer Zygmars uh, Lepins. Uh, the other track is performed by uh, Mirza Ziveri. Okay, uh, Imans uh, Vanzovic and Modo. Spelle Val Disco Latvia 1980. Let's go.
Okay, uh, next track and next side. One minute, please. Okay, uh, next uh, track uh, the Armenian musician uh, Gamlet. Uh, Minasian was born in uh, Tabriz, is uh, north uh, western Iran, in 1940. After uh, graduating from the music school uh, of his native city, he attended advanced courses at the uh, Tehran uh, Conservatory, followed uh, by a musician, uh, research work in Europe and the United States. Uh, his career uh, began uh, with uh, composing chanson-type song, 
Uh, he uh, then moved uh, into the film industry where he uh, rapidly uh, built up a reputation as a composer of a, a number of popular dams. Uh, Hamlet Minasian has also produced a regional uh, vocal and orchestral uh, arrangements and of Armenian folk tunes and has composed a number of uh, remains and the ballad. Okay, uh, now our new track, Hamlet Minasian, Al El Nim. Это больше, чем страх. Рука. Sorry, guys. It's trouble with my cassette, and please, uh, one, one minute, please.
Okay, uh, and next track today is uh, Cassiopeia. Cassiopeia, it's uh, my uh, favorite uh, Japanese jazz fusion band from is, uh, 1976. Uh, and track uh, Asayaki. Yeah, uh, in Japanese, Asayaki uh, means morning glow. Yeah, tell me, my J Japanese friend, I'm right? <laughs> Uh, the song um, was first uh, recorded uh, for the second album uh, Superflight uh, in 1979. Uh, they uh, re released uh, on their uh, fourth album Eyes of the Mind in uh, 1981 and uh, uh, Life uh, for Mean Gems in 1982. Uh, the Mid-Gems uh, version is uh, a regular favorite and uh, is uh, often uh, played uh, as an encore number or, or a last number, uh, with the uh, bride uh, of the song having a long notes. Uh, the lead guitarist, uh, Issei Noro, uh, has a free hand uh, to pump his uh, first for the next one and uh, a half uh, measure of the song. Uh, the intro of this song uh, consists often is a rhythm gu uh, guitar riff, uh, the 1995 J pop rap song Asayaki by Yuki Mori and MC Gaku, uh, samples uh, the intro guitar riff from Cassiopeia Asayaki uh, extensively. Uh, okay, uh, next track. It's uh, Casio Pea Asayaki. Okay, let's go.
Yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you, my Japanese friends. Yes, sunrise. Asayaki is a sunrise. It's a... Uh, yeah, morning glow, sunrise. Yeah, thank you very much. Takumi, Wataru. <laughs> Hello, thank you. Um, okay, uh, next uh, song today is um, Adolf uh, Stern. Uh, more... I like it. It's a 1979. It's Italian electronic release, uh, but also another uh, extraordinary uh, 70s output uh, from the legendary Rexon Studio uh, of Milan. Uh, okay, uh, it's um, Adolf uh, Stern. More, I like it. 1979, and let's dance.
Okay, uh, next track today is a uh, Estonian uh, themed uh, rock band uh, from the Soviet era. Uh, lead vocal uh, is uh, Kersti Rosenberg and it's Nemo, our uh, song uh, Kada Kat, uh, Estonia 1982. Let's go. Yes. Okay, and next track and next cassette, my friends. One minute. Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, next track uh, today, oh, uh, this album is called Disco Musica and includes uh, six electronic tracks uh, by the uh, Lithuanian uh, composer uh, Teisutis Makachinas. Oh my god, <laughs> cool name. Uh, the vocals are performed by a uh, song ensemble uh, all in uh, Lithuanian language. A really interesting music that was uh, meant for the dance floor uh, in Vilnius uh, back in 1982. And okay. Teisutis Makachinas. 
I Diana Anam, 1982. Let's go.
Oke. Okay. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Teisutis Makachinas. <laughs> And uh, last track uh, today, uh, it's Amar uh, Hashid. It's uh, popcorn cover. Popcorn. It's a famous electronic track uh, written by uh, Gershon Kingsley in uh, 1969. Uh, say what uh, you want about the song popcorn. It's an uh, amazing uh, pop culture artifact. Uh, if only uh, for its uh, longevity and international success. Uh, it has a uh, historical uh, thanks uh, since it was uh, one of the uh, first examples of a successful uh, synthie pop song. Uh, Kingsley wrote uh, it uh, in a whopping uh, uh, Zofati uh, seconds uh, and part it on uh, album music uh, to MOOC uh, by 1969. Uh, upon its release in 1972 by uh, Hot Butter, uh, literary uh, Henry's uh, Ford um, cover versions uh, sprouted up around the globe. Uh, the song has been used in a variety of media and more films. Okay, Amar Hashid and Popcorn cover. 1969, let's go!
That's all, guys. Thank you uh, very much. It was uh, cassette sound only, part two. Uh, I hope see you later on part three, maybe, yes? <laughs> uh, okay, let's dance in isolation. Uh, good night. Love you. Bye-bye.